Well, hi. You know, today I'm taking a walk. And I'm going to go visit a friend. And in so doing, um, I'm taking a shortcut. So, you know, people often do that. We take shortcuts. And I have to go over here. See, I'm, I'm going to be going through there because the, my neighbor lives over there. So, here I go. The really nice thing about this is it's a nice, easy day. You know, it's been pretty much of a lazy day. something something down in here and it's shining I wonder what it is hold on I'm going to uh, look at it a little closer and we'll see can you see it there, shining in the sunlight. Looks like something golden. Okay, what I've done is I found something really, really nice. Uh, and it looks like it's going to be something that's going to be very expensive. And since I'm in need of money, um, you know, I, okay, basically what I found was gold. I found it in the ground. It's right here. I dug down a little deeper and found a couple more pieces. But there's nothing I can do with it. I can't take it and, and do anything with it because if I try to sell it, well, they're going to just ask a lot of questions. And... What am I going to tell them? You know, I, I found it out here in this field that belongs to somebody else. Uh, so there's really nothing I can do with it right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home. I'm going to sell my house. Now, I've marked this, uh, this spot so that I'll know it when I see it again. Now, I've marked this spot. And I'm going to go home. I'm going to sell my house, I'm going to sell my car, I'm going to sell everything that I've got, and I'm going to buy this land, because I know that what's in that ground right there is going to set me financially free, and so this is what I'm going to do right now. So. I'll talk to you later. Well, I tell you what I did. I went and I sold my house and I sold my car. I sold my smart TV. I sold everything I had and I purchased and got the land agreement the land title indeed I purchased that land now what I can do is I can go and dig up that gold it is now on my land so it now belongs to me now I can take that gold and take it to an essayer's office and, and see how much is potentially down there which I'm thinking is going to be quite a bit and I can go down there and then I can sell the gold and I will build me a house on that field. Now, 
Of course, this doesn't really happen. This did not really happen. But we have people, they see a house that they want, or a car, or something that would make their lives a lot easier. If they can just have that chance to get that one thing and they would just treat it with precious uh, carefulness. The idea of being able to have that priceless treasure of something. For some, it could be a girl, for a, you know, or it could be a guy. But, and to them, that is that priceless treasure that they have desired all their lives. And they will go and do anything legally to obtain that. And this is true, you know, throughout the world. Now, this little thing that I did here actually came out of Scripture. In Matthew chapter 13, verse 44. Now, Jesus is given a parable. And he's talking about what is the kingdom of God. Now, he says in verse 44 that the kingdom of God is as a treasure, a priceless treasure that is buried in the field. And a man comes along, he discovers the treasure, he covers it back up because it's not his field. He covers it back up and then he goes and sells everything he has to obtain that field that has the treasure in it because he knows that with that treasure he will be able to have more than what he has ever had before. Well, the kingdom of God is just like that. It has to be something so precious to you so priceless to you, so uh, that you cannot even live without it, that you would give up everything to obtain the kingdom of God. You would give up your smoking, you would give up your drinking, you would give up your womanizing or your manizing. You would give up your lies. You would give up your thefts. You would give up, you know, everything to obtain the kingdom of God and what comes with it. When the kingdom of God becomes so real to you that that's all you want. And that's what this little thing about here was today. How much is the kingdom of God worth to you? Is it worth selling everything you have? Putting yourself homeless? Making yourself poor? Is it worth giving up those things that keep you away from the kingdom of God? Is it worth doing that? Because that's what the kingdom of God is. It, you're not going to... The scripture does not tell us that we're going to be rich in the kingdom of God. As far as this world's riches is concerned. As far as what this world says what riches is. The kingdom of God is life and peace in the Holy Ghost. The kingdom of God is something 
that you will take with you when you die. When you are put into the ground, you will have your reward already in heaven. Because when you die, you can't take this stuff with you. All that you look around in the world, all of the jewelry, all of the high-tech items, the car that you are driving, that Jaguar, that Mercedes, that Aston Martin, the house, the mansion that you live in, or maybe it's just a cardboard box, but these things will pass away. They will crumble into dust. And there is nothing that you can do about it. All the money in the world, you cannot take that with you. So the kingdom of God is being able to separate yourself from the world. Because the kingdom of God is that treasure, that priceless treasure that will you can carry on after your passing. This is Robert Rice, and thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.